What's up and good evening guys? Um, this is clearly a continuation from another video, but I'm about to show you guys probably the most reckless thing you're ever going to see done on the channel. And it was initiated by the guy whose truck it's going to get done too. We're in the Mini X right now. We're making our way over to Dead XK20. And while we're going, I'm using the backfill blade here to uh, just kind of clear a little bit of a path alongside of our fence. Eventually we will be getting a uh, dozer in here and just clearing all the burned down crap and cutting new fire bricks. Again, I don't think we're going to have to worry about a fire for a while. Um, I don't want to jinx it, but while we got everything cleared, now's the time to just come in and basically start fresh. Now, there is an issue with Dead XK20 right now. And it seems like every time that guy brings that thing out here, he makes it here just fine. And then he breaks it when he's out here. I don't really see this being the solution to it, but he sure does. If the bucket's curved in, how are we going to do it? Can, can it reach I, out enough? I can go along from the side of it and lift it off. I mean... Oh, yo, you're worried about that. Listen, You're right. worried about that. Listen. Derek, what happened how to this far thing? Out, how far out can you, like, poke it out? Because if you can just get the teeth out, then we can just get underneath and go straight I could probably get up underneath it. All right, let's do it. Pull. Well, hold on. Let's... Okay, let's... Your screwdriver and a big wrench. All right. Oh, is that going to... That's going to help. Fours don't have underneath this it to give you some room so you can just... All right, so what's the issue? What's going on here, Dedek? What happened? Hold on. First, let's explain the first time you took this thing out here, what you did. So the first time I took it out here, uh, got it up on a big rock over there and kind of bound up the front drive shaft and that blew up from both sides at the same time. It was wild. Um, and that was last week. And now this week I came out Well, hold out on, here. hold on. It didn't just blow up the front drive shaft. All the shock bolts came out of the... Sh whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen. What? what are you talking about? They're there. Oh, you put now. them back. They're there. What you mean? Wait, is it now? Oh, yeah, there's a bolt in there. It's still in there? Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> He's like, wait, pull on, wait. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, somehow breaking his drive shaft blew all the bolts out of his shocks as well. Listen. Dedek's uh, a little bit reckless. Yeah, yeah, I have fun with my toys, all right? Hey, that's it. And then, uh, yeah, this time when tried to go out to the mountains, almost made it, actually. Um, two wheel drive the whole time, had fun. And, uh, well, yeah, you don't have an option right now. You have <laughs> yeah. no front drive shaft. Yeah. Bluetooth. Oh, Bluetooth. Hopes and dreams. Yeah. But did you get good signal out here? Great. Okay. Yeah, my phone's connected all the time. Oh, nice. And then, yeah, I got back. Heard a little ticking, which, I mean... It's, it sounds like a Duramax with some Rotella in it. Yeah, so it does. you diesel guys know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, it does. So I was like, oh, let me just pop my hood and check my oil, you know, add a little if I need to. And that happened first. I go to yank on it, and I'm like, guys, I got a problem. Like, Wait, oh. this is supposed to be attached to the truck, did yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. It was supposed to be attached to that. Uh, no, and then, and then he was like, oh... Maybe I'm it's the key. No. And then I was like, oh, that's no big deal. Honestly, it just came off. Let me just trim back some of my cable. And I went to pull. He's like, I'll just pull it out with the um, And then that came out. And then the whole <laughs> rest of it came out. And we tried opening this up to see if there's a way we can get into it, but there's no way to get so around. So he broke his grill, and that was to no avail. <laughs> yeah, it was for nothing. So now we're going to go ahead and try to just basically peel my hood off and hope I don't mess up my uh, core support too much. And I got a cow hood on the way already. This, uh, now, this, ought, this ought to be fun. Now, can we all, can we just, before anybody gets mad, he approached me with this idea. Oh, yeah, this is my idea. Yeah, 100%. this is his idea. So well, we, we were down here for like a good 15, 20 minutes. Like, dude, we're not going to, he's like, no it, get the machine. We'll just rip the hood we'll off. I'm like, I'm down. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it gives me a reason to get a new hood. Look, it's already messed up anyways for those of you. Oh, it's a perfectly good hood. No, it's not. It's already messed up. There's nothing that's that just, perfectly good that, on this entire truck. Exa well, <laughs> okay, yeah. So, <laughs> and that's justifying me getting a new hood, a cow hood. Just, I just hope I don't mess up my core support too much. You, you want to do it? Zach, get over here. He's, he's got his, he's oh. got his, his thingy out. He's watering the plants over there. So the thing is, though, what we got to keep this hook out of the way too. Well, if the hook's out of the way, can't we lift the hood? No, because it's there's like a clamp. The cable releases the clamp, and then that pops up. And then you got to release the hook to actually get it to go. So past we're ripping that. something out. Well, if we have, yeah, no one's gonna sit there with their hand right there while it's underneath that. I mean, if I'm on. I mean, it. we can try from a corner. You want to just rip, peel it up like a. Actually, no. If we do that, if we just peel up a corner, we can just reach in and undo it. I would say, yeah. Can we pull the roof off while we're at it? Convertible. Convertible. You know, because we're smart guys over here, and we don't want to scratch this grill that he already is uh, replacing. You're going to pry it up a little bit to get the tooth of the bucket on the Mini X over there underneath the hood. There you go. Get in right here and hold that up. I'm doing yeah, it. Would, You're going to do it. I'm going to do it. I would, I would, go, do it. I would go this corner. Yeah, that's where we're going to You're going to do it. Go, You've on. operated the uh, Mini X it. for all of 30 seconds earlier. 30 seconds. I think I've got oh this. God. You hit me in the face, dude. I'm going to be pissed. Joysticks? All right. Your, your so, floppy dongs in your hand, they, they do the... So these, these dongle and things And then these right ones here. do the... Drive. Okay, that's yeah, easy. All right. right. I've done tracks before. I know and tracks. If you notice, there's pedals at yeah, the bottom yeah. to where you can yeah. use your feet as well. Yeah, yeah. As for you military people who watch this. All right. You got you to gotta raise the armrest to start it for some reason. That's... 
Yeah, that's Whoever it. Whoever makes these, you need to fix that now. All right. Armrest is down. Your controls are hot, buddy. I'm a little nervous. You gonna stand here while he gets under there? Daddy, you're gonna want to come around this way and pick this. I think you should do it from like the mini X on the side right here. Boom over the mini X, grab it, and curl. What do you guys think about this uh, idea? I got, I got 20 on no. 20 on no. I'm here. I'm gonna be entertained. All right. Hey, dude, we're either gonna break it in the Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's a good thing it's his truck, and it's a good thing he can't hurt the rental that my name's on with this truck. I mean, well, it's dead. I, mean, I don't know. Let's see, he put a hole in my drywall. Uh, he, he screwed up a lot of stuff. Well, the door's flopping around over there. Hey, hold up. We should probably lock the door in place there. Good. All right. Now, here's surgery with... Hey, you want to show him how to turn the idle down so I don't die? You don't want it full throttle? I do not want it full throttle right hey, now. Hey, turn the throttle down. Huh? Turn the throttle down. Oh, you want to put it back in the turtle? Yeah. Yeah, get her out put of Put it in the turtle. Don't blow your tire out. I think you're pretty far forward enough there, buddy. Oh, yeah, put the blade We're down. Safety. 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 Smart. I Safety like it. First. Bring it over. Don't hit me in the face. Down. I don't need it. Bucket down. Put it in. All right. Control back. All right, there you go. Control back. Oh, it's so good. Okay, go towards me a little bit. Nope, cover towards me a little bit. A little bit. Oh, oh, oh. A little more. Okay. Curl in. Towards me a little bit more. Yep, yep, yep. You're looking good, Daddy. No, the other way. The other way. Oh. There it oh. is. Hold on, hold on. You want this arm to come to you just a little bit. No, no, this arm. This whole arm. Get that whole arm. To, there you go. Yep. A little bit more. All right. Now, as you go up, you're going to want to bring it over. Woo! Oh. Hey, there's an engine in there. It is LS swapped. You weren't lying. Now, just pick the bucket up and smash the cab with it. Okay. Truck oh, crash, where you at? Get to it from there? Nah, I think we need to get more up. Hey, just drive it home like that. <laughs> Send it. So the whole reason this is being done is Dedding needs to add oil to his truck. That's the only reason he needs to get up under the hood right now. Is this not how everyone adds oil to their truck? I thought this is how you add oil. Yeah, no, I thought that's how it does. Okay, so the cow hood's gonna have a hole in it, right? Yeah. If we don't have enough content. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's good to go, dude. Oh, we're good. We're there. Hey, we should have done the other side. You could have got to the oil field and not even have to open oh, the hood. Oh, and I could have literally drove home like this. Yeah. Well, we could do the other side and like bat wing it. Is it gonna come off? Yeah. It's probably all bound up now. Hey. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know if she's going up anymore. Oh, easy, Fonzie. Well, here, hold it latch and we'll pull it up now. Oof. It's still latch, I think. Push down on it first. Hold my hands on there, so. All right. Well, how much do you need that hand? Do you care about that hand? Uh, yeah, that's the good hand. I think it needs to come down a little bit. I think there's too much tension pulling it up now. Yeah. Oh, wait, who's got a flat tip screwdriver? We just sit there and pry on that bitch. How about this one I found in my back pocket? That works. All right. Get the flashlight? Where's the flashlight? Grab one. I know James Brown. What's that? James Brown. Are they? Awesome. All right, we're coming over. Oh, oh, we got progress. Hey! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hey, there we go. All right. Look, it still even holds itself up. Dude, you can drive home like Am that. Am I bend it back down? Yeah. <laughs> Try to go home like Fill that. Fill it up, bend it back down. I told you there was an LS in there. See? Is that what that is? That's what that is. Oh. All right, hey, we can add some oil. Right there. Dude, we could have just like hole sawed a hole in your in your it would have probably Let's been better. Hopefully oh. one oil. Yeah. Zach, Zach's got the oil. Uh oh, that show's good. Uh oh, we're not low on oil? Hey Zach, is this looking a little milky to you? Uh well. Well. When was the last time you changed it? When I put the motor in? Yeah, it's milky. 
just a smidge. Hey, so for you know the people on the channel that don't know what that means, Zach. Uh, it means he blew his head. Oh. Yeah. Because uh, she was running a little hot every time I stopped her, I heard her boiling over. So I don't have a temp sensor in here. Oh, remember? All I have is oil pressure. That's the only gauge I got in this thing is oil pressure. <laughs> remember the other day when you were talking about I've not having I've always known a... if it gets thin and you're running hot. So, so guys, take it from the diesel guy. You need gauges yes, in anything you, you drive. Yeah, 100%. Well, the other day he's talking about not having a temp gauge and how this thing was getting hot. And then he sits there and just keeps revving it up as I'm telling him, like, hey, you he's, should probably baby it. He is, and then he, from, he is from Florida, though. Rev bomb is a thing out there. Yep. Oh. Well, anytime somebody goes like this, he can't help himself. Yeah, that's not good news. I've got you oil. just rap, pop, 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 pop. I was kind of riding on that. I was low on oil. Well, we're gonna top off some thicker oil in there, so that yeah, might help. It was taking like you're low, so just put another cord yep. in it. No, yeah. There yeah, is. if you're ever running low oil pressure, just run thicker oil. That's obvious. Or, like or zero forty. That yeah. works too. But that stuff's expensive. This is cheap. Need yeah. some light. Nope, I never miss. Okay. Got a hole in drywall that says you do. Hey, hey, hey. No, I didn't miss. Uh, he hit it right. He missed the stud. He really hit it right. In the <laughs> he said I was aiming for the stud. All right, she's good to go, dude. All right, thank you, Zach, for the uh, donation. Yeah, yeah. Do, me, do me a favor, take like 10 steep steps back and just look at it. Oh, no, it's beautiful. And you, you're worried about the engine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Everyone doesn't change oil like this? I, I respect it. Some entertaining clowns. <laughs> Uh, you gotta push it down. Push it back down. If it goes down, it can still zack. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, that, that's what it was. The spring was holding it up. Oh yeah. All right, yeah, that won't fly open on when you're driving home. Nah. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Sounds great. I think I lost the lifter. Oh, uh, well. Hey, Chuck might be staying here for a little bit. Yeah. That's all right. All right, all right. Maybe, maybe back to the property. Yeah, too bad I gotta go the long way now. It sounds broken. <laughs> hey, but it looks great. The flatbed looks, looks great. It still sounds cool, it just sounds broken. <laughs> What's that here? Your cruise control? Two by four, yeah. Just sit there and hold I wedged it in between the, yeah. the bench and the pedal and I was able to just ghost ride it. That's a classic right there. All right, so here's just what happened. Well, first of all, Denik, what's the damage assessment on your truck? So I think I spun a cam bearing. Like I'm pretty sure about it because it wasn't just one side. I was thinking lifter. I was listening on this side. I was like, I think it's over here. And Zach was like, I think it's over here. And I was like, uh oh, that's not good. Yeah, when, so yeah. when an LS sounds like a power strip, it's, that's a bad yeah. sign. <laughs> but so, we've got good news. And the reason I wanted to get, grab the cameras because. Usually when something gets said on camera that like puts it in the universe and they puts pressure on uh, making it happen. Dedek, what just happened? Uh, 05 Duramax, your neighbor has one and just offered me to buy it. And it was for a price I can't refuse. So are you saying we're, we're Duramax swapping the K20? I think we're Duramax swapping the that K20. That general consensus and, uh, yeah. that the K20's getting diesel swapped. Yeah, <laughs> and then this motor, once I pull it out, it's going into the C10. And then the 350 out of the C10 is gonna go in the Jeep. Yeah, and then that Jeep motor is just gonna get thrown in somewhere safe, disposed. Uh, like a Vespa. Now let's put let's put it in line six in the uh, Miata. And what make it slower? Oh. Four wheel. It's got a Dana 300 on the back. You can twin stick a Miata. Yeah. You can do front digs in a Miata, dude. Out here. Yeah. There we go. Okay. It's just it's the, <laughs> the sisterhood of the travel. This is this is the biggest engine swap. <laughs> That's no, that sounds news. like a lot of, what am I signing up for? This is a lot of work. <laughs> you just said, all right. <laughs> Don't worry, you got months before I'm ready for that, so. Okay. Just start stacking up, cuz. Well, this thing can't leave my house until the Duramax gets put into it. It doesn't run. Unless, you, like you said, you're offering the shop. I'll figure out a way to get it to the shop. Well, I feel like if it can't leave here until you Duramax swap, it's gonna get Duramax swapped quicker. Oh, yeah, cuz I'm gonna want my truck back. So no, because even if it's at the, no, if it's at the shop, cuz it's closer to my house, it means I can spend more time there. You're gonna come live in the guest house, dude. 
Yeah. You just put it out in the universe. Okay, I guess I'm moving in. Yeah, do you need a kitchen? I got, I got an easy I don't need a kitchen. I'll just get one of those little like stove tops. We'll get little... MREs, dude. Yeah, he Actually, just, I he have boxes. Bag and... yep. it's, getting, it's getting warm. Just let it sit there. All right, there we go. Uh oh. I think we got a plan. All right, oh. big news. Okay, 20s getting Duramax swap. <laughs> send me parts. <laughs> People send me parts. <laughs> we need a lot of parts because we can't just have a stock LOI in the K20. Oh, no. I dropped my hood release. Oh, oh he's yeah. going to fix that. Too. Oh, yeah. Is that going to. Actually, the cow hood, that actually might have worked perfect. Hey, if you're going to put a Duramax in, don't even put a hood on it. Clear hood. Clear hood. Clear hood? Uh, no hood. No. No. Clear hood with hood no pins. Hood. No hood. Just dump. You need hood no, pins, though. One of the, the HSP, turns we the need a compound kit for no 5 LOI. Yeah, and sure, and what whatever he said, else goes and, along yeah, with whatever that, else you want to do. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> if we're gonna do this, let's do this. Uh oh, Chris, your thoughts? Let's see it. Hell yeah! <laughs> wow, this may this is actually the best because he would have never. This is the best thing that ever happened to your K twenty, dude. He, well, no, if you think about it, it's the I mean, craziest series of events. Like, if I would have never driven this, so if the fire never even happened, I'd have never had a reason to drive this thing out here. Yep. And you then your neighbor would have never came over. The drive shaft. I would have never ripped the drive shaft so out. So you wouldn't hang it on the rev limit all day. Yeah. Therefore, the neighbor wouldn't have come over, and we wouldn't be where we're at now. Yeah. Dang. Listen. Series of unfortunate. This place events. is a series of unfortunate events <laughs> yeah. from like our water, electricity situation, like everything, and meeting the neighbors under the craziest of circumstances. Yeah. This. I don't know if it's good juju or bad juju. This is where it all but comes from. But there's some there's circle. some juju going on here at Rhino Ranch. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna turn it in our favor. That's there you what go. we do. We're gonna take all the bad stuff that's happened and get one good positive out of it. And that this is gonna be it. Dang. That's gonna be building Dedic a freaking death machine. But <laughs> I'm down be, with it. I'm awesome. cool with it. <laughs> should we should awesome. we double check all the welds on your headache rack? Because that's gonna be your roll bar. Nah, that'll just fall off when it wants to. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm. You know what? How about this? You guys tell me where you want to see the dump. Yeah. What? What was that? What are we looking at here? I want to see what your, uh, what your following what has to say about it. I want to see where they want to see the dump at. I may take one of their ideas and go with it. Uh, you don't think Hoodstack? I think Hoodstack. <laughs> we'll see. Hood Whatever you guys we'll want, everybody comment down below what you think Dedek should do. Also, any parts that you want to see on that Duramax, you know, I Please. think if Dedek's going to do it, a built Duramax is the way to go. Let's make it cool. Yeah. Let's make it fast. Let's make it scary. Yeah. Like and scary. Uh, yeah. Fast. Like, like, scary. I'm it. saying like two 30 pound bottles of nitrous scary fast. Okay, let's do it. Why not? That's the spirit. You heard the man. <laughs> all right. It's Hold on. I had a screwdriver in my pocket. We could start now. No. Oh, no, right. all right. Well, not with that one light, and that's all we got out here. <laughs> so with that, guys, we're going to wrap up. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforwardpayroll.com because if there's anything you want in this life and you want to be matching uh, Zach and Chris were wearing matching work for t-shirts today. No, no, mine has a bleach stain on it. Oh, yeah, Zach's has a bleach <laughs> stain on it. A little different. Customized. It's customized. Custom. It is custom. All right, well, we might offer that service in the future if Zach wants to uh, start, you know, a custom line. You get one for 50 bucks, so. There you go. Anybody hit me up. You guys are the best. <laughs> Roll the outro. Damn.